Hey guys, and welcome back to CNC. When we last left off, we was playing as Nod. Let's continue. We've got to reinforce our friends. I say friends loosely. I don't think there are actually any friends in the Red Army. And of course, this Red Army is Nod. Okay, nothing too bad at the moment. We've got a lot of units here, but don't let that deceive you. These were always my least favorite missions when you only had a um, limited amount of men. Oh, we've got civvies here. I guess this is the village we're here to protect, and we've got to go and destroy the uh, opposing village. Well, let's make it happen, man. Oh, hello. Kill him! Little sneaky son of a bitch up there. Got a lot of anti armor capability, which is quite nice. Because you never know with GDI when they might be rolling out the thunder. Talking of rolling out the thunder. Ah, sounds like a good idea. Ah, that's the shit. Ooh, hello. Light armored vehicles. Yum yum. We'll have them. Damn infantry. Whoa! Losing our armor here, or anti armor. Ah, enemy civilians! Yes, what we like. Delicious. Oh, shit. Come on, man. Get in there. Oh, fuck me. Medium tank. Not great, to be honest. But that's okay. Good thing we've got all these rocket buggies and rocket men. Although we don't really have any anti. Uh, civilian stuff. Well, anti-infantry stuff left, so we're just going to have to be careful. We've got two Nod buggies. That'll have to suffice. Evening, gentlemen! Can we, like, kill those, please? Okay, we're really running out of units here. Um, okay, that has not really gone very well, has it? Let's use you to scout. Are there any GDI men left? Yes, there is. Really don't want to lose you. We lost you. Not good. Well, things just got interesting, guys. Hopefully, ah, oh, not buggy can do the rest. Hopefully. Look at the speed difference. Damn. Just hope he doesn't burn through all of his ammo. Now what's interesting here is GDI uh, infantry are actually coming out of these buildings, which is a little bit concerning. If they were just civilians, so it would be fine. Um, shit. Oh, ha! <laughs> well that was lucky. That's as close as it gets, guys. That is as close as it gets. I don't think. Oh, okay. I thought our KD was gonna suck ass there, but I guess, I guess it wasn't too bad. So, Mr. Seth, what's next, Milado? Hey, nice. Nice chunk of Africa is now under our control. However, GDI are gaining, which is not good. I've only got one choice here. Laughable. Military resistance, 24%. And government corruptibility, 48%. That's still a big chunk. Before you can truly shape the future, you must first possess the past. Assimilate our history, for it is your own. Right. Kane wants you to view this. Accessing Brotherhood archives. The Brotherhood desires a world of peace, unity, and eternal brotherhood. Uh-huh. The Brotherhood springs from the lowest of places, offering unity and peace to otherwise neglected and abused nations. That's the official line. Iberian heralds the dawn of a new age. The Brotherhood embraces this age, harvesting Tiberium to further expand our collective beliefs.
Tiberium continues to confound the scientific community, soaking up ground minerals and soil nutrients like a sponge. The end result of this unique leaching process creates the formation of Tiberium crystals, which Fields are precious green. metals and available for collection with a minimum of mining expense. I would have thought it was quite expensive, those harvesters and the refineries, but okay. I have good news. While I was at a top-level briefing with Kane, I made mention of your accomplishments and efforts. He's somewhat impressed. Somewhat. And he's interested to see how you handle your next assignment. Kane needs Niger, and his personal commander is massing an assault through Algeria. We need to be assured that GDI's A-10 Warthogs flying out of Lagos do not hinder his progress. Mm -hmm. Your goal is to set up surface-to-air missile batteries and destroy the GDI airbase. Can do that. You have caught Kane's eye, and he is watching. Do not fail me. You got it, boss. I like the way they they show an A10 Hornet, uh, A10 Hornet, F18 Hornet there. Not quite a warthog. All right, let's get set up. Nope. Let's put it down whilst we're building up. This is where the missions start getting a little bit more intense. But we do have a light tank here, which is supposed to be a Bradley or Warrior class vehicle. So they're not exactly uh, anti-vehicle material, really, but... It's all we've got. Let's do some scouting. Which is what these bikes excel at. Now, where's our Tiberium? Now, I remember this mission quite well. I actually used to really enjoy this one. Ooh, hello. It's not what we want. So there's the Tib. Now we will have A-10s literally being a massive pain in our balls on this mission, but that's okay. We will uh, handle that in time. We can get flamethrower men finally as well. They're only 200, really? That's interesting. I thought they were more than that. They're really cool. But the only problem with them is they will kill themselves. But man, do they eat infantry alive. We'll have five of those. We'll spread them out as well. There we go. Uh, do you remember the old X to scatter? Pull these guys in a little bit. Now we need the communications tower for the SAM, SAM sites. Let's also get another refinery going. And then we need to get a nice spread of SAM sites. Now, sandbags are kind of invaluable here from what I remember because if you build SAM sites right next to your buildings, uh, when they airstrike them, your SAMs don't have enough time to attack the uh, incoming warthogs. So, we're going to use the sa uh, sandbag exploit to build them a little bit further away from our buildings. Alright, let's pump up that speed a little bit. Yes, sir. Moving out. Moving out. Ooh, hello. I don't think so, pal. Yeah, I'm not sure if not buggies do less damage as well. Is that tree going to become a blossom tree? I don't know. Be nice if it did. Because we're going to burn through this tip pretty quickly. Okay. So they've got a patrol set up there. <laughs> yeah. Not quite as of oh god, not quite as effective as I was hoping. Building. Come on, get that refinery going. Yeah, the uh Oh, hello, there's like some Siberian here. 
possibly being harvested. Ooh. It's not exactly... Oh, God, okay. Um, okay, well, that wasn't too bad, actually. Now, how much do Sam's cost? 750 Really? Wow. Interesting. Building. Get a couple of tiger, uh, a couple of power plants. Really? Construction complete. Yes, now one of the we do get one of my favourite vehicles playing as mod. We get the flame tanks, and uh, they're lots of fun. Building. I do like me some flame tanks. Building. Construction complete. Now can we actually get? Yeah, we can get an airstrip. Excellent. Building. Construction complete. Right, let's get Building. some Sams though. Because we're going to need anti air as soon as we can. Construction complete. I mean, airstrikes are not Building. hyper lethal, but they're bad enough. They really are. I think. I, I did used to have the formula down for Sam's. I think if you have three of them, that's generally enough. Our base is under attack. <laughs> Flame infantry. I'll um, I think we'll have four. Four should be good. Oh, hell. Shit. Hello. Let's see you creeping in, you sly fucker. Stupid bastard. Right, that should give us protection all round. Got some more tib there. Uh, I'm curious, though. Curious. As to whether... Yeah, there they are. They are actually there. Okay, cool. Ready and I was thinking the AI's got to... Yeah, there we go. There we go. That's the ticket. I thought it was four. Yeah, flame men. Oof. We love them. Now, that's actually starting to annoy me a little bit. What are we going to do? We're going to block this area off. So I don't want those to keep getting around. Now, Sam sites are also very resilient. So we don't have to worry about that. There we go. Now they're not going to be able to get around there and attack our Sams. Let's just build our base out a little bit. So our Sams will now be completely protected. More or less. Building. Let's get some more flamers. Unit ready. Building. Okay, cool. Unit now, what ready. vehicles can we build on this mission? Get yeah, light tanks. Nice. Now, unlike the war factory or weapons factory or whatever they call it in this game, uh, the airstrip is totally different. We have to wait for our vehicles to actually be dropped in. Building. But it's not too bad. Get a couple of buggies as well. We need it for the anti anti infantry capabilities. How many like fucking AC one thirties or whatever they are do we have? It's crazy. Can we build a harvester? No, we can't. Cool. Let's get some light tanks. We are going to move everything away. Reinforcements have arrived. That. Building. Light tanks are extremely cheap. I can't remember how much the medium tanks were. I think they were six. No, they were eight hundred or seven fifty, something like that. Whereas these are six hundred, and I don't really think they're worth six hundred, to be honest. Building. Reinforcements have arrived. But that's the uh, that's the hand we've been dealt. Right, let's go for a little scout. See, I'd love to build some kind of uh, defensive structure there, but even if we could get a defensive... Oh, you fucking assholes. 
Now, from what I remember, if we do destroy their A-10s, they recharge slower. They get a much higher cooldown. At least, I think that's how it works. But the AI will always airstrike your units uh, instead of your base, which is something worth noting. Or possibly they'll always airstrike a defensive structure as well, I think. But again, I might be wrong. Building. Construction complete. Reinforcements have arrived. Let's get a couple Building. more of those. Construction Some light complete. tanks. Building. Reinforcements have light arrived. tanks are fantastic in numbers. Like pretty much all units. Construction complete. Building. Reinforcements have arrived. Right. Construction complete. Building. Reinforcements have arrived. Construction complete. Nice. Reinforcements have arrived. Right, that should be enough to do some damage. Let's go hunting. The hunt is on. Ooh. Let's just go for their harvester. If we can get rid of that early on, we're laughing. Alright, pull back. Get rid of that. Cloud! Ah! Really? Oh. You just completely balls that up, Cloud. Thank you. Now, the good thing about light tanks, because they're quick, they're actually really good at running down infantry. Which is also something nice to note. Ooh. Right, charge through. Take that. Nice. I suppose we could take these out. These don't actually require power, unlike the more advanced guard towers. They also have a... Nice. Come on. Oh, airstrike their own dudes, man. Brutal. Broken arrow. Alright, charge! Okay, that worked. Let's get some more units. Really? Damn it. Yeah, the light tank's firepower is very lacking as well. But then I think they only have like a 20mm gun or something. As opposed to like the 120mm on the... Uh, M1. Right, and with that, boys, they're fucked. What are you guys doing down there? Get in there. Unable to comply. Building in progress. Construction complete. That should do. I think the Nod units build quicker as well, but I might be wrong about that. It feels like they do. Nice. Alright, waste their silos. Probably should take their silos over, but... Ah, screw it. Time is money, yo. Nice. What's left? Seriously, dude? Alright, so that's one base destroyed. Nod units are also much more expendable because of their price. Whereas with GDI stuff, you really want to try and like hold on to it because it's so expensive. Hmm. Ah, hello. You sneaky little git. I see you, you sly pepper. Yeah, even grenadiers do quite a lot of damage to light tanks. <laughs> good night. And good luck. Came out of that with a lot of money. Right, so where are we heading next? We're almost like halfway through their campaign already. Ooh, that's nice. Africa is slowly falling, but we are losing territory. They are fighting back. 
Oh, we got three choices here. Let's go for the middle one. So, expendability is still 75%. Military resistance is 80%, so that's quite high. But their strength is laughable. I was starting to trust you. But now Kane has asked for your services specifically. He thinks you can handle this. Oh, yeah. GDI has imported a Ooh. nuclear detonator, and Kane's intelligence shows it hasn't even been unpacked yet. Since you seem so brilliant, sneak into the GDI base with a small task force, find the crate, and get out, if you can. And if you're lucky, I'll have a helicopter waiting for you. Oh, <laughs> you're a gentleman. Uh, I think he's getting a little bit angry with us because we're so brilliant, apparently. I always like this cutscene. Boom! Right, this level's actually quite hard. So, or it can be. I'm not uh, familiar with the layout. Because there's three different map choices. Uh, one of them's really easy. The other's not so. Now, it does say that you've got to sneak into the base and sneak back out. That's not true. You only have to pick up the package. So this one might require some trial and error, boys. Yes, moving out. Affirmative. Moving out. All right, we're just going to charge through. Affirmative. Affirmative. We don't care about fighting. Just need to find their base, get in and get out. Or get in, I should say. And just get out. It's not going to be through there. Come on, boys. Oh, shit, where's their base? Up here, perhaps. Ah, oh, shit. We've got to destroy that. Come on. That'll do. Get in there, man. Get in there. We need some vehicles. No, you idiot. Why are you going back? Seriously? Okay, that's... No. So where do we... Where's their base then? Possibly down here? Well, that's a wipe. Do I not save it? I guess not. Oh well. At least we can restart easy enough. Noted. Okay, so let's try that again. Where is their base? Is it up here, perhaps? Yes. Ah! Perfect. Come on, guys. Don't get bogged down by the infantry. Uh, I said don't get bogged down by the infantry, guys. That's fine. Charge, man. Charge! Oh, come on. If we can get one unit through. Hopefully that light tank. Yeah, there we go. Should do this. Say should. If we're lucky. Come on. Get in there. Get in there, man. Now, we've just got to find... Ah, bollocks. So close. Right, we might have to get rid of some of their units then. Okay, that worked. It's their armor that's really kicking us in the ass. Right, and their rockets. It's fine. Come on. Charge through. Charge through. If we can get the buggies. If we can get the buggies, we can do it. There we go. I'm not sure what that APC's up to. He's like, no shit's given at all. Come on. There we go. Oh, shit. I guess we do have to get out as well. Ah, bollocks. 
Okay, I didn't realize that. Come on. Come on. We can do this, boys. Wait. How do we get over there? Uh, how do we get over there? Ah, I see. I see. Now, what are, like I said, the other map, because there's a few different map choices here. The other map is so much easier. One of them is just like straight in, straight out. Whereas we might have picked one of the harder ones here. Come on, nice. That'll work. Come on, get these infantry done. It's the infantry that we need to be careful with. Okay. Right, destroy that. Nice. That'll work. Now we've just got to get in. Although we do have to fight the pathfinding. Which is horrible. Especially on these bridges. Yeah, I really can't handle them. Okay, that's fine. Come on, there we go. Come on. That should be enough. Come on. Come on, man. Turn that governor off and go full speed. Reinforcements have arrived. There we go. Mission yes! Okay, that was actually way harder than I remember. But never mind. Two more missions bite the dust. Could have been worse, let's be honest. Was that four failures? That's mission six already. Yeah, I think we are literally halfway through. God damn it. There we go. Nice. Half of Africa is now ours. Probably over half, actually. We've got another three choices here. Let's... Let's attack. Oh, I don't know. Let's go there. Central African Republic. Alright. Well, there's no stopping you, is there? Well, you say that. But Cain may not be that. as with you as I thought. You've been relegated to a simple propaganda mission. Sneak into this GDI base and steal their new toy. They call it Orca, and it's a high-speed attack helicopter. Use it to destroy this... Not really a helicopter, is it? This should be a no-brainer for someone of your caliber. Mm. You say that, Seth. I wish I had your confidence in my abilities. And we got this cutscene again, which is so cool. I wouldn't say that's a helicopter. It's more of a VTOL. Really. In fact, it's not more of a veto. It is a veto. So cool. Kind of like the hawk out of Halo. I like the way it shows you it firing six missiles there as well. Oh, man. Split forces as well. Shit. Anyway, my friends, that will have to wait. Until next time, thank you very much for watching. When we come back, um, we will uh, hopefully take this place over. Mod LP2. You going to save this time? Excellent. So when we come back, guys, we're going to go steal ourselves an orca. Till then. Till then.